One moment. If you say that, it will help you sell the balloons. Okay? Okay. I get practice. Balloons. Balloons. Cherish! Cherish! Here, push, 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 push. Where are you, Cherish? Cherish! Cherish! Hello, Piggy Dickers! Hello! Blimey! I don't think there's anyone out there. Is there? I say, hello, Piggy Dickers! Hello! Blimey! There you are. Now then, there's some big lugs out there today. Let me induce myself. My name's Mystic Peg, and this here is my daughter, Juliet. Say hello, dear. Hello, dear. Hilarious. <laughs> of course she's kind, beautiful, deductive, just like her mother. You wish. Right, <laughs> she you lot. Hey, I see things, you know. Especially after a few gins. Who <gasps> said that? Come on, who said that? beautiful day today. I'm positive nothing's going to go wrong today. Oh, oh yes it will. Oh no it won't. Oh yes it will. Oh no it won't. Oh yes it will. Anyway. And I say she won't even notice we're gone. She will you know. She notices everything. Oh hello Mystic Peg. What have we here? Two handsome lights out in the day. Oh. Two nights out in the. Oh, please yourselves. And the jokes don't get much better. Are you Ruth joining our picnic? Well, we're sort of hiding from the Queen of Hearts. There's a crisis up at the palace. The Queen has baked some tarts. She wants us to do the tasting. Well, what's wrong with that? Look, Peg, she puts real stones in rock cakes. <gasps> and real toads in toad in a hole. Oh, oh yuck. yuck! Last time we tried her tarts, we had to go see a dentist. And there's not much chance of getting a dentist these days, even if we could afford one. So we're... hiding. Come over here, boys, and try out my dumplings. Oh, don't get much of them like that, do you, Sir Lloyd? See you in a minute, my dear. Hey, hey, will you read our fortunes? Later, boys, I'll delve around with my crystal ball and see what comes up. Don't eat your dumplings while they're hot. Excuse me a minute, folks. I want to go find some hinges for my stamp collection. Ah, for Natalie. For this, you will get you nowhere, Saloy. These knights, give them an inch, and then I'll take the biscuit. I really do wish they'd stop doing that. Hello, your princeship. I didn't know you was returning. Hello again, Peg. Good to see you. And you too, Juliet. I'm just here to um, help my aunt with, with her summer fate. Gosh! Shouldn't you be up at the palace then? Oh, yes. But look, my aunt is baking. Now, there are times to be brave and um, stick around, and times to, um... Run away? Precisely. Well then, you must join our picnic. Mind you, it's nothing like a raw do or anything. I'd love to. Come on, show me around. There. Aren't they a lovely couple? His mother keeps trying to marry him off to some stuck-up princess. But I know he loves my Juliet. She's polite, attractive, slim. Well, just like your mother, really. <laughs> Boy, what shit you? Anyway, I read their tea leaves, and I know they'll be together for talking of fortunes. Have any of you seen my pussy? Have any of you not seen my pussy? No. Oh, behave you. She's mostly black, with a few white hairs here and there, and called Cherish. She's a very naughty pussy, and keeps running off. Have any of you seen my pussy? No! <coughs> Watch it, you. I really will just commacerate you in a minute. I'd like to tell you, Peg, she said something about going to see the Queen of Hearts. To see the Queen of Hearts? Oh no! She'll throw away in a dungeon! Oh. Worse, actually, she may even feed her some tarts. Oh, I've come over all uncessionarious! Much better 
Where's an owl? Don't worry, Peg. I'll go after your cat and I'll make sure she's safe from a fake lesson. Rick Stein. I'd better join you. And me. You know that Cherish never takes any notice of you, Mother. <sighs> I'm sorry, folks, but we'll have to cancel the picnic. Oh, no! No, it's much sadder than that. Oh, no! We have to go find my pussy. <laughs> See you later.
Are you hungry, you poor thing? <laughs> Look, she's got a collar. It says her name is Cherish. The conference! The line! Where are you? Oh no! The queen's coming! <laughs> Quick, Cherish, let's go to the kitchen and find something to eat. Right, everyone, look busy. Last the spider delicacies. Speak English, my man, or I'll have your head. When did you last see the torch, Your Majesty? Now let me think. They were displayed in the kitchen on one of my very best plates. You know, the ones with the big flowers on. Hollyhocks. Language name. Sorry, ma. What about the dungeons? Have you searched them? Ah, uh, the dungeons are always kept locked. I have the only key. However, we did search the dungeons and found nothing. Uh, if, if I choose the subject, Your Majesty, the decorators have arrived to do up this room. Should I let them start? Well, at least something's arrived, instead of something disappearing. Who do we hire for the job? Uh, a local firm, Your Majesty, go by the name of Bassets. Mm, they do all sorts. Well, <laughs> I'll let you get on with it then. I'm off to have a sulk. Nothing like a good sulk to make one feel better. Blah, blah, blah. How dare you mock me? I am your superior, and you will always be just my name. Redecorated. 
Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Three bags full, Your Majesty. I show her royal smelliness who's the real boss around here. What sort of tart is this? It's like concrete. <laughs> what I need to do is to find a way to get rid of these tarts and pay them all on that upstart Prince Harry. That's it. Blame it all on Prince Harry. You lot didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, we did. So you did. Yes. Well, then, you better not say anything, because I'm a very evil person to cross. Very evil indeed. So watch it. Right now, boys, yeah. somebody pull up the van. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, come on, pull the kit over there. So what do you not want? We're the decorators, mate. We come to do up this room. Cool, blimey. me. Devastating. Well, then you do a proper job, or the queen will have your heads off. I do not demand that as a joke. Do you see me laughing? No, he ain't laughing, mate. He ain't laughing. God, dear, with a face like that, he'd even make a happy meal look miserable, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, sunshine. We're experienced. We are. <coughs> yeah, yeah, we are. We're very experienced. We are. Right, well, what was the last job you did then? Oh, that's easy. We painted the white horse. We did. All oh, right, the white horse pub. Well, whatever. Right, I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day, so make sure you get on with your job and don't go roaming around the palace, especially near the dungeons, full of ghosts and goblins. I'll be back later to see how you've got on. Oh, yeah, he is, isn't he? Oh, here he is. 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 Mystic Peg, that is. <laughs> Come on, you nearly scared the pants off then. It's a potty. What are you doing here? Oh, we're here to do up this room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got lost, but I found you. Nearly all the villagers here, searching the grounds for my pussy. Well, I'm sorry, missus. We ain't got time to go and help you search for your pussy. We have got to decorate this place. Yeah, yeah, we've got to decorate this place for a bit of time. And then we've got to go to Mexico. We'll price up a wall job. <laughs> so, so we can't mess about looking for pussy cats, can we? But hang on now, lads. Yeah. Why don't we get this thick head to help us do the decorating? Yeah, and good. then we can all go and look yeah. for a pussy cat. Yeah. How about that then? Righty ho! Hey, Chip. Yeah. Can you put the radio on with you? Uh, I work better with a bit of music.
sunshine will have her cleaned up in a minute. Hey, I wasn't talking about her. I was talking about the room. It's a disaster. There's always trouble when there's a woman around. And would you take that stupid mask off? An aquarium mask? You mean that's your real face? What's wrong with my face? I the god, it's ugly. How dare you consult me? It isn't where my underwear on the outside. Breaches. Breaches dignity, you mean. And what would a low-life pauper like you know? I'm not going to help you in a minute. My, my. Such idiot behaviour. Iron on peg. Steady, steady. Peg? Would that be the famous mystic peg? Actually, it would. I can see into the future. And yours, mate, is looking rather short. <laughs> they say you consult with the spirits. Well, I can arrange for you to join them. Permanently, if you like. How dare did you? Is that some sort of threat? No, it's a promise. The Queen will have your heads for this. In fact, speak of the devil. Here she comes. Your Majesty, the mess, it has nothing to do with me. It was them. You evil fiend! Oh, shut up! No, not you, Your Majesty. What? Hmm? Yes? Oh, very good, Nay. Very good. Pardon, Your Majesty? Yes, carry on. Lovely. Carry on. But, Your Majesty, but the mess! Well, yes. It is a bit messy. But there's plenty of time to get it all cleared up. But, Your Majesty, I demand you throw this one into the stocks. Why? For not doing her job properly. Oh, I see. Well, you're not properly dressed, are you, babe? Put your hat on in my presence. Dark. 
How is damp too? Well, the only damp dark place here is the dungeon. I went there once, never again. Awful, creepy place. Should we check it out? No fear, they say it's full of ghosts and goblins. Don't be so daft. There's no such things as goblins. Not outside of Trump's Towers. Anyway, we still have to find my pussy. Well, we can look for Cherish at the same time. It seems to be the only place left to look. Ah, hello everyone. Are we having a meeting? Ah, Peg, I see you've got your ball out. Anything unusual in it? Yeah, she's seen the man what stole the tart she has. Who is it? We can't tell for certain, but we think he's in the dungeons. Good. Let's leave him and the tarts there then, shall we? Yes, but if we do that, the Queen will just make more. Ah, perhaps the dungeons is a good place to look after all. Excuse me, good fate, could you spare a few crumbs or drinks for three hundred <coughs> and mice? Something to ease his throat, perhaps. Do what? He sod, have you get a glass of water? You all sound worried. What is wrong? We're trying to find the person who stole the tarts and my pussy. Ah, your pussy. Is it Bob? I have heard it. Queen in the curry door, heading towards the west wall. What'd he say? He said he heard a pussy crying in the west wing. Well, that leads to the dungeons. Maybe we could kill two birds with one stone. You are going to kill some birds? Is that not against the law? I was, of course, speaking hypothetically. What? Oh, never mind. Let's just go before it gets dark. It's not good to be in the dungeons when it gets dark. I bet it gets cold down there in those dungeons. You can all, you can always put on that new scarf I bought you. No, I can't. I took it back to the shop. Why? It was far too tight. Oh. Right then, everyone. Tally ho. Perhaps we three can be of some assistance. Hang on a minute. You've been blind. How on earth can you help? Ah, oh, but we have strong other senses like smell and touch. Yes, you can all go in a hod. We will walk our wee to the dungeons. <coughs> what? I'm not sure what he said, but I think it was for us to go on ahead. Right, everyone, follow me. We've got a thief to catch. Criminals are everywhere. It is good that we, the famous detectives, are going to end. These popples, they do not leak furry friendly. Do they nip reckon us? It's okay, everyone. We're here to catch the criminal, don't you know?
immediate one. Yes, everyone's lives could be in danger. There would be door danger in the dirt dungeon dungeons. <laughs> I'm sorry, but did anyone understand what he said just then? No. Never mind. We must get tackle the danger in the dark, dingy dungeon. Onward! That is what I saw. Uh, I have had enough of this. Come along, Holmes, before he strangles your little dry cells also. Yes, I really think we're going to need an interpreter. Interpreter? Interpreter? Which is wrong? Are you biffed off? Do I knit spoke pipperly? Which did you thank I saw? Biff, doff, biff, doff. Come back, come back. No, 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 that is knit rot. Can book, can book. No, no, no. Ah, I have get it, whip for a moo. <laughs> Oh, hello you lot. You look lost. I know I am. All the others have gone off the dungeon somewhere. But I took a wrong turning. I'm always doing something stupid like that. And if there's a wrong way to do it, I'll find it. If there's a wrong way to say it, a right way to play it, nobody does it like me.
hear you. Now tell me, what do you want? Someone has stolen the gym trots she has bucked. <laughs> oh, typical tourists. <laughs> this machine, he is understanding him. I mean, how is that possible? Obviously, it has been proved by a genius, perhaps even Bill Gates himself. Bill Gates? Won't let him anywhere near my software, mate. Hold on. I can let you in. If I need a password. What's a password? Password! That is what I saw. Anyone got an idea of what the password might be? Maybe it's something to do with the Queen. It is her dungeon after all. Great idea. I'll try Queen of Park. Computer says no, mint. Try your name, sire. Are they not sunshine? How about tarts? Ah. After all, yeah. they're world too. There are 3,495 entries for tarts. Give us a clue then. Which one are you after? I'll try Queen's tarts. Jam tarts! <laughs> About flipping time, Nate, there are two bits for the towers. One from Sweets the Builders, and one from Chell Big Bake Off. So this is all down to the name. Just wait until I catch him. Hang on a minute. They haven't been sold yet. They must be here somewhere. Have a good look around. There may be a hidden compartment. Let's start pressing the walls and see if we can find it. This is ridiculous. I can't find anything. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> Take, take the 
the Peshmerga veins, teacher! Quickly! Quickly! <laughs> now, as long as he remains still, everything will be fine. One wrong move, sizzle, sizzle. No more brains. You'll be all right, go pig. <laughs> Bye, heroes. <laughs> Opportunity, my dear, but unfortunately you're a bit tied up at the moment. <laughs> and I am not the knave of hearts. That idiot ran away years ago. I am Maury Arty, even evil arch enemy of that fool Sherlock Holmes. Let me tell you about myself. I know you're dying to hear. I am the knave. And yes, I'm deep brave, so beware not. I cast my flickering shadows of pain you will find. This 
kingdom was meant for me. I was a downtrodden slave, but now I am free. At break of day, when the queen was away, I was waiting. I stole the tarts from her house, then heard her roar. Tarts from the queen to settle the score. My, 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 I'm evil. Proudier than a weasel. I've told you before, there's pain and torture galore. I'll crack you and rack you until you are craving no more. I know. 
I can give something to Juliet to cherish, and she can follow the scent. Thanks, Abby Laffy. Well, this is a load of rubbish. I'd be very careful, Sir Lloyd. Abernathy might get upset and do something you don't like. Boulder Dash, what's up? You are. Help! Help! Put me down! I'm sorry! Please, Peg! Ask him to stop! Okay, Abernathy, enough of the showing off. Put him down. Gently! 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 Ouch! That hurts! Serves you right, you silly old fool. Yes, yes, uh-huh, no, no, ah, oh, really, you don't say. What is it? He didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for your help, I'm happy. So what do we do now? <laughs> well, we give Cherish. Ah, Cherish. Take this hanky of Juliet's and see if you can follow the scent. That's it. She's found something. Come on, let's follow. Let's go. Be on your guard. To the rescue. <laughs> Nice. 
This is your early warning, intruder alert service. Intruder alert dot dot dot, you have been sussed. It's the village more than that, Prince Harry. Hooray! I knew I shouldn't have bought that alarm system of Donald Trump. <laughs> Russian rubbish. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. I have a backup plan. I can knock them all off in one go. I'll be back. <laughs> Juliet, Juliet, where are you? Here, Harry. Follow my voice, but please be careful. We'll be with you in a minute. We've just got to get through a couple of locks. Harry, Harry, please, my hero. <laughs> Juliet, aren't you? You're all right. Took your time, didn't you? We've been stuck in here for hours. If your mother knew what was going on, she'd have a fit. Never mind that, Auntie. We've got to get you both out of here. That mad man, the name, or rather, Moriarty, he knows you're here. He might be back at any minute. You're not worried about that stupid loaf. I'm not worried about that ugly, wart-faced, spotty, Big nose! Peg, I think you should look. Do you stop chatting whilst I'm interrupting circumference? As I was saying, that ugly, spotty, big nose. Uh, goodness me, is that the time? Let's dash! Oh. Don't worry, Auntie. Juliet, he can't get all of us. I'd stay back, all of you, or I'd press this red button. It's only a little thing. 
Oh, shut up, you old hag. How dare you, you? All of you, into the cage. I place the lack nodes in the bars. Oh. One wrong move, I press this button, and you will all be fried to a crisp. We must do what he says. We must cherish every moment that we have together. Yeah. Don't worry, good always prevails over evil in a Cheryl Panto. What is the lad talking about? Shush, auntie. Yes, shut up, you soon to be exterminated royal person. Right, all of you, into the cage. Go. Oi, come back, oh, don't, don't press that button. Oh, 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 press the button. Oh, oh,
and gentlemen, boys and girls, we feel that you've had a little bit easy this afternoon while we've done all the work. So now it is time for you to do a little something. But don't worry, you don't have to exercise these little breast cells. All you have to do is exercise your voices. So all those of you sitting on this side of the aisle, in front of myself and Saloin, we will be singing Frere Jacques. And all those of you sitting on that side of the aisle, in front of my esteemed colleague Sherlock Holmes and circumference, will be singing Three Blind Mass. Now, we will have a little practice with us three Frere Jacques while they listen quietly. And then they will sing Three Blind Mass while we heckle a little bit, okay? And then we'll all sing it together. So, my score, please.
so? I reform my ways, it's a promise I make. I'll ask Mary Berry just how to bake. <laughs> Mind how you go, folks. And don't tell a shear. It will not be long before we see you next year. <laughs> Oh, no.